ANPR, or LPR cameras read the number plate of passing vehicles and check them in a database of vehicles of interest to Driver and Vehicle Standards Agency. Example, goods vehicles, buses, and coaches. Driver and Vehicle Standards Agency uses ANPR to help the target which vehicles to stop and check. This process helps to detect offenses including unlicensed operators. This video is about how to integrate the ANPR system in Honeywell's CCTV system. Without any ado, let's start the video. Let's see license plate recognition flow. This diagram portrays LPR event flow management. Before the process started, the user has to activate the LPR analytics license in the camera, which has been shown in the earlier video. Link is given in the description. Then user has to enable LPR analytics and configure the camera, which is also shown in the earlier video. Link is given in the description. In this video, we will go through with second, third, and fourth steps to get the license plate number on Honeywell's VMS system. Let's start the second step, which is to configure ANPR cameras into Max Pro NVR. To do that, connect to NVR through remotely. Let's go to configuration. Here user has to add the LPR cameras, which I have already added. If you're not aware how to add camera into NVR, watch my previous video where I explain how to add camera in NVR. Link given in the description. Make sure after adding the LPR cameras, it's mandatory to give the cameras unique IDs across all NVR as shown. After adding the camera with unique IDs, hold the remaining configuration at NVR side and move to step 4 for event server configuration. An event server is a central server that handles all events collected by NVR from the camera. The event server creates an entry for each incoming event and evaluates that event against a set of rules to determine if it can respond to the event or modify the event automatically. Event server can be installed on a separate machine, or it can be installed on the same machine, where we have installed MaxPro VMS. It is recommended to have the same machine for VMS and event server. Let's see how to install event server on the same machine, where we suppose to install the MaxPro VMS. During the installation of VMS server, user has to select custom installation. Then, select Max Pro Event Server from features list. Follow the screen for complete installation. After VMS is installed, in the main interface of the VMS, the user should see the LPR tab, as you can see on the screen. If not, then the user has installed Viewer Edition, which not supporting the LPR future. Make sure the user has to select MaxPro VMS R600 Enterprise Edition for LPR future. Because till this video uploaded, Honeywell launches only one edition of VMS which supports LPR features. To configure event server, it is very important to give the admin user a complex password with minimum 12 characters, this admin user to be used for the event configuration. To change the password of admin user, click on configuration. Then go to user tab and select the admin user. Then click on update. Here type the new password for this user. and click on save. Close the user setting and log out the application. Now log in again into the application 
with the admin user using new password. Once VMS logged in completely, add and configure the event server into MaxPro VMS. To do that, go to Configuration, then go to the Event Server tab. Click on Add. User can customize server name and site. Enter the server local host IP address as 127.0.0.1. If the event server has been installed on a different machine, user has to enter that particular computer IP address. Usually, it should be on the same computer, except for special requirements. Once the user enters the local host IP address, it will discover the computer name automatically and generate a notification as local host or 127.0.0.1 converted to system's name, XYZ, do you want to continue? Click on Yes. To check the server connectivity, click on the ping. After clicking on ping, if the name of the server appears in green color, the connectivity could be established, as you can see on the screen. Or if, the name of the server appears in red color, the connectivity could not be established. User has to recheck and rectify the configuration. Next port setting, keep it default value. Then, enter the admin username and password of the MaxPro VMS application, which we have modified earlier. Once all the configuration done, click on Save. Then click on Validate Event Server. If the configuration have been done properly, user will see a message on the top of the screen. Event server is up and running. Let's close this setting by clicking on the close button. As you can see on the screen, one event server has been added in list. As of now, users can add only a single event server in MaxPro VMS R600 edition. To edit the server configuration, do a click on the name from the list. Let's add NVR into MaxPro VMS on which the LPR cameras have been added. To do that, go to the Recorder tab from the main menu. Then click on Add. Fill the required details, such as the name of the NVR, type of the NVR, MaxPro NVR version, and type the IP address of the NVR. Then the username and password. Once all details are filled, click on Save. To discover the camera, click on Discover Device. It's mandatory to discover the cameras using NVR's unique system number. To do that, click on View Advanced Setting. Then select Use free call-up number. And then select the checkbox for Use NVR Unique System Number as call-up number. User have to check this option before discovery for LPR feature. Or archival playback. To start discovery of cameras, click on Add button. It will take a while to discover all the cameras added in that particular NVR. Once discovery completed, close this window. Let's go back to NVR and finish the remaining configuration of event server at NVR side. Logging into MaxPro NVR. Then go to configuration. And then go to system. At bottom of the screen, user will have an option for event server configuration. Select the checkbox. An alarm will be generated as LPR Alarm Routing Event Server is enabled. Click on OK. Type the IP address of the event server machine. Then port number should be keep as same. Then enter username and password of the event server or VMS admin user credentials, which we have modified earlier.
Then user has to edit final URL settings. To edit the settings, click on pen icon located behind the ULR setting. Replace the domain to IP address of the event server machine. Make sure user has to enable and secure checkbox for secure access. Then click on OK. Once all the settings have done, click on Save to continue. To check the recorded events, go to the viewer screen and drag the LPR camera on the viewer tab. Then extend the recording bar. As you can see on the screen, red color indicates the recorded events. Let's go back to VMS and check the vehicle number plates detected by LPR cameras. Open Honeywell VMS application and log in. Go to LPR tab. As you can see there is no license plates detected yet. I will open the camera live view in a different screen and try to show some sample license plate photos to camera using my mobile phone. As you can see on the screen, it has been detecting the license plate number. To check the recorded video, do will click on the particular event or license plate number. Hope you learn how to integrate the LPR cameras into Honeywell's Max Pro VMS. If you're looking for any technical support for such system integration, please contact us via social media. We are providing remote services all over the world to our happy customers. Thank you for watching this video. Please do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified when a new video uploaded to our channel.